All right, uh, today I'm going to be uh, working on this arm and this hand. Um, and uh, get the uh, clothing uh, to a point where it looks like uh, a sleeve, hopefully. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is a hand, and I'm going to tip the clay over. And uh, so I can work on that a little more accurately. I'm going to bring it right up to me. Yeah. And I'm going to put my little brace down right there. All right. I'll be right back after I get done anchoring everything. Time to play with some clay. Well, looking at the uh, piece at this angle and with the lighting that I now have, you see that big hole right there? I can't have that. And so I'm going to fill it in as part of the dress. And I just got to figure out how I'm going to do that. That way it'll make it much easier to uh, cast this work because it won't have that hole for the opening of the hat where her head would have fit in. Yeah, for me to work back in there, I'm gonna take out my temporary support and uh, that way I can get in there without uh, having to go around that. I got this real big ball tool and I'm going to push it up in there because this is a part that will not be seen Unless somebody gets a magnifying glass and a good light and chips the bronze over to see it. That way, I can get away with a little bit of fake by filling in that hole the best I can. I know it's hard to see what I'm doing because of the angle, but I can't help that. I'm afraid. But having it at this angle for me makes it easy for me to uh, take care of some problems underneath the uh, cape, which I could not do when it was standing up straight. Okay, that looks good. All right, I need to uh, texture it now. <coughs> it's better to get back here now to texture it than after I do the hand, because I'll be constantly hitting the fingers, and I don't want to do that. All right, I've got to fill in underneath here. If you see these uh, frills, they have a lot of empty area behind them, and I've got to fill that empty, vacant area up because the mold material will rip the uh, detail out when they pull the mold off. And uh, can't have that. What I might do is put this part of it aside for now. Because this is not nowhere near the hand. And I can do this before we go to foundry. 
So I'm going to stop trying to fill in, and I'll just make a note that I need to fill in. I think I got ahead of myself. I realize now, before I can start the hand, I've got to have the uh, scarf going down to it. And I've got to do that first, so I can't do that do it at this angle. So I'm going to have to re-angle the whole piece again. I'm afraid. Okay. Do I do did I do any damage here? Just checking my progress out. That actually looks better now that I've uh, filled in that dress. It's going to make it much easier to cast that hat without having to cut anything apart. So that's going to actually, well, I got to fill in down here be underneath the uh, brim on this side, but there's a few things I need to do before I can take it to a foundry, but I haven't sold any yet, so I'm not going to sweat all that yet. Okay. I just uh, I ran some clay through my pasta machine. And uh, I got to put it where it's going to... There we go. I took one of these uh, foam tubes, the, the ones with a big hole down the center, cut it in half, and I lay it on my board when I'm sculpting. Whoops, I gotta, I'm gotta. i gonna have to put a screw in on each end to hold it in place, but it'll keep my tools from rolling off my uh, board when I get excited about my sculpting and turn my turntable real fast. They want to roll off. They won't roll off. Just a little hack. That's kind of cool. For keeping your tools on your sculpting stand without having them falling on the floor all over the place. All right, be right back with my sculpting. All right, I got to put some mini wrinkles into the uh, my fabric of the uh, shawl.
Yeah, this is one of those really small handles, and uh, I put this uh, tube on it, and it looks it works beautifully now. I have a lot more control on that uh, loop. Okay, I'm going to start working on the wrinkles on the shirt. Okay, I've got to work on the back of the dress here. I'm going to have to redo that uh, little feature on the top of the sleeve. I'll do that tomorrow. I've just run out of time. I spent a lot of time on the other stuff before I could even get started on the hand and the arm. But at least those things are done. Which leaves me a lot of time to work on the uh, rest of this. I'll have to continue this tomorrow. It's just taking longer to do all these uh, setups and resetups of the clay and working on the uh, underside. That took a lot of time. So I'll come up or down tomorrow and I'll be a little bit better prepared now to start working on the sleeve and then the hand. And then this piece will be pretty much done for now until I can take uh, pictures of it and maybe sell a couple of copies. I don't know. I like what I did here. That worked out good. And, uh, We'll just pick this up tomorrow. I hope you have, all you guys have a great night. And uh, I hope I inspire some of you to want to try sculpting. It's uh, relaxing. It may seem stressful what I go through, but it's not. It's just really a lot of fun to get an inspiration and then fulfill that inspiration in clay. <clears throat> I want to remind you, I have instructional videos on sculpting in my uh, video link or the link down below my video. I have uh, a review of uh, all nine of my instructional videos. And if you end up buying all nine videos, you get uh, three extra videos that are not listed. So you basically get uh, a whole lot of information and over 50 years of uh, knowledge and uh, little easy ways of doing things that took me a long time to figure out how to do. I'm still doing it. All right, everyone, I hope you have a great night, and uh, I'll see you next time.
If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.